Oh my god, it's so wonderful being a normal civilian in Singapore. Listen to all the birdies and nature. It's so fantastic. And I'm enjoying my latte frappuccino macchiato tea. Okay. <sighs> so wonderful because I don't have to worry about silly regimental things like cutting my hair or polishing my, my boots, my shoes. The only time I want to cut my hair and look after my shoes is when I want to impress a guy. Mm -hmm. Where's my phone, huh? Bloody shit. Where's my I just saw my phone, huh? Like, did you take my phone? Huh? Buggies? Huh? Don't run away, huh? Can't see this. My long hair. I think that video pretty much sums up how I feel about haircuts. And disclaimer, in no way am I trying to make any party look bad. The only party that looks bad right now is me, with this haircut. It's quite an unspoken rule that a lot of males in Singapore can't keep their hair long for more than a year because of reservists and national service. So. So upon receiving the notification to go back for reservists, I was tasked and had the dilemma of finding someone to cut my hair because I hate having my hair cut. And lo and behold, by luck, I actually came across these two awesome guys who were having a drink and they ran a barber shop or a hair salon. And they kind of invited me over. I said, yeah, I was nearby my home, so why not? And then to my surprise, I was actually really happy the first time stepping into this awesome hair salon. It's really cool. So I had this idea. Why not make a video about this whole shop? Why not make a video showcasing these awesome two guys? And guess what? I asked them politely, could I make a video of them and their shop? And they said, yes, of course. And so having only a very small camera at that time, the Sony A6300, I decided with my one only lens, the 35mm 1.4, 1.8, can't remember, but basically to just shoot it interview style, just take the whole shop as it is and this is what I came up with. Hope you enjoy and before you watch this video, please like it, subscribe, check out my other videos and of course, click the bell for notifications when new videos pop up. Okay, I'm kind of lying. I'm, I'm still not happy about my hair. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with it, but... When you step in, you are rich. When you step out, I am rich. <laughs> rich and rich is a very good thing. Actually,整個構思呢,我簡單嘅啫,係我中意nature啦,even我哋嘅地下我哋floor都有嗰啲leaf嘅pattern度嘅感受我哋嘅culture。你哋誒翻去呢個同年嘅感覺,都我哋
package 咩嚟噶 ？package 我話鬧你，好心你哋啦，講咗用 package， 你鎖住你客仔嘅心啦，拜託下啦嘛。We are hard sell, not hard sell. We are no package. I believe that every hairstylist and hair artist, the first step and step into this industry is just very simple. We just want to bring things considered nice, like nice haircuts, nice hair color, hair perms, or whatever. We just want to create an art on our customer. Who pay money? Who are the boss? <laughs> Very easy. We are big friends. Don't talk money. I wish and I hope that you come down with a grip. At one point in Malay, say, Bolong Chuba, Bolong Tau. Skali Chuba, Hari Hari Mau. It means like, uh, you never try and you never, never know. Once you try, every day you learn. <laughs> Where's the address? Oh, address, huh? Then just like, follow your card. Please make a call before you come. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye! <laughs>